Hey everyone, this is Colby with CW Films, and today we are going to be taking a look at how to create the muzzle flash effect in Adobe After Effects. The muzzle flash is used constantly in many, many movies, and it's been used for many years. Very popular effect, and uh, I know that um, when you're watching tutorials off YouTube, how to create a certain effect when it comes to editing, I know when I first started, it was very difficult because I felt like they just assumed I knew how to run the program. Well, today I'm going to assume that y'all you know nothing, and today we're going to be doing a complete beginner tutorial on how to do everything from scratch. We're in After Effects, and we're getting ready to start. Now, I'm going to assume that you are a complete beginner and do not really know what you're doing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up to the top where it says File. You're going to go down to Import, go to Multiple Files. What you're going to do is then you're going to go to Photos and you're going to grab the video that you took of your actor shooting the gun. Now, if you don't know how to get your videos from your camera, phone, whatever, to the computer, if you have a phone, just take off your charger and hook it up to the phone, go, and go to Photos, Imports, and import that footage. Now, if you have a camera, I'm sure it's, a, it's very similar, and that's what you're gonna do. So we have my footage here, and we're gonna go to the exact moment that I am about to pull the trigger on the gun. So right here, see me going down, and about right there. So, if you're wondering how in the world are we even going to get the muzzle flash? Well, there's a very uh, simple way and there's a very hard way. As a beginner tutorial, I'm not gonna go near the hard way, and we're gonna go to the most simplest way. So, what I want you to do is I want you to pull up Safari, and type muzzle flash and then like just look up black background or don't you don't even have to look up the background honestly it'll probably show up go to images and you can get one of these photos screenshot of whatever you want and get that and then file photo and get that and drop drop it into the project once you once you get it in press cancel here and you see it should pop up like this so we're gonna Hold it and drag, drag it here. So obviously there's a black background and it's facing the wrong way. It may not be facing the wrong way for you, but if it is, click right here and turn it around. Now usually for a pistol, if you're having a pistol, you're gonna want to make it about the size of the pistol. If you have an uh, assault rifle, AK, whatever you want, make it about two thirds the size. Now, if you want to get rid of this black background, which of course you do, uh, by the way, if you're on this mode here, and you're like, oh, you're not right here. The easy way if you're on this screen is to go down here. What you're going to do is you're going to press normal. You're going to go down, press screen, and it gets rid of it. Now, you're going to want to rename. So, uh, to rename this file so I don't get confused on what I'm pressing, uh, basically use two fingers and click down. Go to rename, and I'm going to name it muzzle flash, obviously, for I can't type. Muzzle flash for obvious reasons. It is a muzzle flash. So you have the muzzle flash here. But if you started on this screen, you could just do this. Double click, blending mode, and it's the same thing. I'm going to need to, uh, for me, uh, it may be perfectly aligned for you, but for me, it's a little off. It's like, it's. I'm going to aim up just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it to where I think I'm going to want it. And I'm going to click this little cube right there. And it gives me like a 3D kind of feel. And I'm going to scale it up to where I want it to be. That's better. So that's good. Now, you're not going to want this to be here the whole time. So this purple thing on the muzzle flash. Go to where you see these two little arrows. Hold down and move all the way to the starting point. So make sure you get it. Oh gosh, oh, did, don't do that. If you ever accidentally click to this, just go up here click composition that have when that used to happen to me I used to be very confused and I used to delete my whole project not knowing what I was gonna do I thought I messed it up now you're gonna go right here to the other side and go all the way till it's only a frame only having this for a frame and if you play it you should have something quite like this obviously you can hear the gun sound it's just not it doesn't feel right it's not correct by the way, if you want to make, there are a couple of layers you're going to add, so you might want to rename the footage also, just footage or something. Rename everything, it gets you into a very organized habit. So what you need to do right now, 
Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to here versus layer. Click that, new, go to solid. You should have this. I would like you to rename this muzzle light, muzzle flashlight, just something to distinguish it from the flash, like muzzle light. So this pen tool, click, go to the uh, your flash, and click. Okay, now don't worry, you didn't mess up a single thing. It's supposed to look like this, okay? Go to the mode, or just double click, blending mode, and then go to, right here, overlay or soft light. I think, um, in my opinion, if you do this, I think overlay is too bright. I, I would rather, if to, to look right for what I'm going for, it'd be soft light. But you can do any other light to fit your screen or however you want it to look. And it's taking out the whole screen, doesn't look that well. So do the same thing to make it only last the frame. The same frame in the gunshot. So when you do this, you see this. So it's the whole screen, it doesn't look good. I mean, that, that just doesn't feel right, just take out the whole screen. So this is where it gets a bit tricky. You're gonna go up to this pin tool. This is how to mask, okay? And even if you don't know what masking is, I'm gonna teach you right here, just a little bit. I may go into further detail in a different tutorial, but just click this and you're gonna go down. Now, what you wanna do is wherever the light from a muzzle flash would be, would be basically, you're gonna like, if you probably go around my arms, my face, my side down here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click like here and just keep clicking to create these masks. Now I, it would probably go around here, not far, probably around in here. And it would definitely shine a little bit on my hat. And you're gonna go down here and connect. Now don't worry if it looks a little weird and wonky. We're gonna fix that. But just keep creating those masks. Oh, if you and by the way, if you hold and drag, you can create it. Uh, just if you messed up, you can move it a little bit. Now, obviously, since we're so close to a wall, this wall would definitely be hit by a muzzle flash. Pretty high, actually. A muzzle flash is pretty strong in a confined area. Um, now, people are like, guns don't even really make muzzle flashes. They kind of do depending on the lighting you're in. Uh, I've shot real guns before, and they definitely do make flashes. So, if you're one of those people, just now. But here we go. We got this. Make sure it's pretty evened out. Pretty good. Pretty good. Make sure you don't set up. Please don't mess it up. I'm just kidding. Um, I tried and failed at this so many times. But anyway, you're like, this looks so cut. You can tell that's so cut. You can just tell. So what you're going to do is go to muzzle flash, click this. Click masks. And then mask one, which you could have more or less than mine. Uh, if you're in an open field, even if you are in an open field with no wall, do your face and stuff. You're going to go down to mask feather and like type in 20. Does that look good? Does that look more realistic? Yeah, it kind of blends in more, right? You're going to go down to mask two. Does 20 look a little bit better? Okay, it's a little, you can definitely tell it's cut. I'm gonna go to 30. Okay, looking better. If I go to 40, it definitely looks more in there. I'm trying to get that perfect pitch. There we go, I like that. That looks pretty good. So, go up here to get rid of that. And when you do this, this is what you get when you're finished. See, the light, just make, it makes it more feel realistic like that flash is actually there, because of course it's not. Now, what you need to do is for this specifically, you're going to need access to something that pretty much everyone has access to. You can get a free download of a gun noise. For me, you, you, I mean, you can just go to a download and go to a YouTube video, type in on YouTube, gun sound download, free download, go to the description, click it, get it. So just go to file, import multiple files, but it's gonna be a little different. Go to downloads and find that download. So I got mine, my download is here. I'm gonna move it down here instead of actually on the screen since it's not gonna appear on the screen. You get the flash or the gun sound. I'm gonna rename this to 
shot sound or anything that sounds good to you. You got this, and now it should be a little bit more realistic here. Now there are some more things you could definitely do that is makes it more look realistic. I don't, I'm not going to get into all of those because, yet again, this is a beginner tutorial. I don't want to go too hard on y'all. But this next thing is a little bit more different. It's very important though, and I wish I knew this, okay, when I first started. It's keyframing, and don't get scared by a word you don't know, because I definitely was. What you're going to do is how I did this is I want to get a shell flying out of the gun, as guns do. You're like, I don't, how do I get a shell? How do I get all this? Well, pull up Safari or whatever your thing is that you look up stuff. Go to actionvfx.com. This is a very good stock footage I like. And don't worry, it's totally okay to use this. Go to free effects because this is where you're going to find what we're looking for. See these bullet shells? You're going to click this. You're going to go down. Find one that looks nice. All right. Add to cart and you're going to be directed to a download page in a few seconds. You're going to go to bullet shells, go to here. I'm going to click this up here and it's going to, something's going to go down there. It's in downloads. You're going to go to file. Well, make sure you click this screen so it doesn't. Uh, and you're going to go to file, import, and multiple files. You're going to go to download, you're going to click the shell, you're going to click the shell, and it should appear here. And drag this in. Obviously, you're going to notice some wonkiness here. It's just, oh, we have got all that masking tool. It's still a mask. It's going to move that. But anyway, you have this. It's just there. It's kind of big. So you're just going to scale it down to an average of bullet shell size. And, but you also can tell when you press play, it's just there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do some keyframing, which is always fun to do. You could do this in probably multiple other ways, but I choose to keyframe. So this is how you're gonna do it. Obviously, you wanna rename first so you know what you're actually doing to. Shell. And you're going to set a keyframe. You're gonna, uh, first you're gonna click this, down here, this arrow, transform. Press position. Now, I want to scale just a little bit out, just a, about a frame. I want to move this off screen. And let's see what that looks like. We, could, we probably have, have to fix it a little bit, but let's see what it looks like right now. So you just can't see it, right? It's too fast. And if you did that, it's totally okay. If you may go too slow, it's okay. This is how you fix it. See this keyframe? The ending keyframe, move it out just a little bit. See what it does. Okay, it's pretty fast. You can't really tell. If you like that, that's totally fine. But I kind of wanted to show, just to show for the, uh, for the video. This is what it looks like. Way better. Way better. Okay. So now, uh, there is some more you could do, but in the beginning of the tutorial, this is all I want to show you. So by the end of all of this, you should have this. And there you have it. Muzzle flash. Thank you all so much for watching today's VFX tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it helped. And I'll see you all in the next video.